Hey guys, something that I recently learned is that if you're using a variable power supply to charge your LifePo 4 batteries, you're probably doing it wrong. Um, found something out that kind of exploded my head and since I found this out, I have saved literally hundreds of hours charging cells. Um, I'm probably doing it more than most people are, so it might be more impactful in my world, but it's definitely something that everyone should be aware of just to make the most out of the equipment that you have. So if you're familiar with CC CV charging, uh, what happens is you set the total amount of amperage output and the total volts that you want to charge your batteries at. Right now I'm set to 3.65 and it was at 5 amps. As I get closer to my charging voltage, which I am at right now, the amperage begins to drop. This is expected behavior. This is just Ohm's law in action in the nature of CCCV. Um, the voltage slowly climbs, making sure it's high enough of, above the batteries that it's going to give the full output that you have set, in this case, five amps. And, <coughs> pardon me. And then once it gets to your charging voltage, assuming the batteries are close enough and that's why it's raising, the voltage is no longer going to go up, which means as the batteries get closer to the charging voltage, the current's going to go down. Again, this is just Ohm's laws. The voltages are closer together, there's less of a variance. So to the same load, a you know higher voltage will give more current, but the steady current to a diminishing, or rather an increasing voltage will do just the opposite and slow down. So what you're likely doing wrong here is, I mean, this is a pretty a pretty common phase if you're, you're charging them, you're getting to this point where it switches over into constant voltage mode. Okay, so here's what you're doing wrong. I'm gonna see if I can get this propped up. Notice we are in constant voltage mode now. Um, the problem, these wires. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn off my power supply. I have made some eight gauge wires uh, right here. I'm going to throw them on and we're going to see what happens when we're using these eight gauge wires instead of these right here. Got these out of the way. Man down. Now I'm just attaching the terminals to the battery.
Now let's go ahead and turn it back on. Notice we are back up to full charging speed. <coughs> At first, I, I didn't understand it. You know, uh, the person who told me, I actually upgraded from a gauge wire at the time. So that's how my story went. And he was like, you should upgrade those. And I'm like, Marshall, that's his name. Eight gauge wires, plenty enough to carry, you know, five amps of current. It, you know, it shouldn't matter. It's not going to make a difference. And he was like, okay, I'm not going to argue with you. So at that point, you know, I had to try it and I tried it. And lo and behold, um, the science behind this and what's occurring is the... The amperage that you're putting out is a factor of both the voltage of the unit as well as the resistance. So when we're using smaller wires, we're adding a lot more resistance than, we use, than when we're using larger wires, even if the wires are sufficient for the amperage. We can still cut down on that resistance and it's going to leave this charging at its maximum value a lot longer. Um, I've had this down to almost trickle charging, like 1.2 amps, going super slowly, charging it up, um, swapped out the wires, back up to full. Um, so like I said, if you are using your stock wires here and you do a lot of charging, upgrade them. It's going to save you hours and hours of time in the long run. Um, four gauge seems to be a sweet spot for me because it's not too big for the terminals and it still has a definite improvement over eight gauge. So that's what you're doing wrong. That's how you can fix it. And I hope this saves you as much time as it saves me. Have a good one, everyone.